Hello and welcome to USATT's Everything You Need to Know About Table Tennis. My name is Brian Pace. Now, if you play table tennis on a cruise ship, in a rec center, or with the family for the holidays, there's been this great debate about the scoring system. And for most of table tennis existence, the scoring system that we use was the game going to 21 with each player making five serves. And the disadvantage of that system was it favored the higher ranked player and it also created a lot of downtime if there was a big margin, let's say 13-7 or 14-6. But as of September 1st, the scoring system changed to the game going to 11 with each player making two serves each. And what you saw at this point was the dramatic rise in the amount of upsets because the game was shorter, it was more intense with little to no downtime at all. And if the score goes to deuce, each player alternates serves until one player is up by two points. So if someone wants to make five serves or play the game at 21, just update them on a new scoring system. Now I'm going to dispel a lot of rumors about the scoring system for table tennis. True or false? Is it true? that you volley the ball to see who serves first? And the answer to that is no, it's absolutely no. If you are playing a match that is not umpired, one player is to hide the ball in either one of their hands and the other player chooses. If that player chooses the correct hand, they have a choice to either serve or receive. Now, if you're playing a match that is umpired, the umpire will flip a coin. If you win the toss, you still have the option to serve or receive. The next true or false question is a two-parter, and that is, is 7-0 or 11-0 considered a skunk and the game is over? First of all, a skunk is an animal, so you probably wouldn't appreciate being involved in this. But on to the first part, 7-0 is not considered a skunk. And if you're already up 7 points to 0 points, just go ahead and win 4 more points. Then the game is over. And on to the 11-0. Now, if you're up 11-0, it's not considered a skunk, but the game is over. And my suggestion is if you're able to beat somebody 11-0, go find a better challenge. And for more information on the rules of the sport, places to play, finding a coach, attending a tournament, and the scoring system, go to usatt.org and I'll see you on the table.